okay this is the next video in our continuation of our aws series and uh, in this video we will see like one service and the name of the service is config so if you open the aws console and just search aws config you could see like this is our one of the service so this is very useful service and uh, i will tell you like uh, what the use of this but before using this service let's check whether it is like free or not so if you go to the AWS free tier, and if you try to search here, so I could not like uh, find any uh, any option. Like sometimes, like uh, for few of the service, like uh, maybe it is with some another name, or maybe it is not listed here. Sometimes you will not able to see. So to confirm whether the service is free or whether it's paid or whether it, there is thirty days free tier. So what we can do is on on the service page itself, on the right hand side we can we can see the pricing option, right? So if you click on the AWS config and AWS config like a pricing option, if you click on the pricing details, so here so they said like AWS config it will be like charged. You have to pay dollar zero point zero zero three per configuration. So basically, like this service is not free like uh, you have to pay uh, if you are going to use uh, if you are going to use this service okay now but what is this actually service when we have to use so this aws config config is basically means configuration so what it will do it will just record and evaluate configuration of aws resources what does it mean so let's suppose you have created some resources in your aws right it try to like uh, monitor those your resources and check their configuration. Example, let's suppose you are working in some company and uh, and that company has some restriction that you have always whenever let's suppose you whenever you create an, an S3 bracket in, in there in your company AWS account and the company policy is that whenever you create your S3 bucket, S3 bucket should not be public. Or whenever you create any security group, like uh, so, the SSH port should not be accessible to any uh, like uh, uh, from anywhere. It should be from particular IP. So they have their own role. But uh, how they are going to monitor? Let's suppose if I am working in for for that company, and if I create the S3 bucket, and for the S3 bucket, I the company says whenever anyone anyone has to create the S3 bucket, uh, they will they should not like uh, make the bucket public but when i created the bucket i make the i make the bucket public or the company policy is like whenever anyone create this security group right they should not like allow ssh from anywhere but when i created the uh, security group i allow it from anywhere so basically i did everything opposite to the company policies but how company company is going to record all these things like this is like a known complaint or this is complaint with the company policies, right? So how the company is going to record all this? So company will going to use this service that is the AWS config. So within this service, what they will do, they will define some rules for some set of the services and that's it. So once they define the rule, now whenever you are going to create anything, right? This management tool, will going to like uh, check the configuration and then decide whether the rule which I have set within my conf config service is matches with the service which I have created. All right. So basically it will record everything and it will matching matches uh, the configuration with the rule which I have set. So the, so the AWS configuration is like uh, the region specific. So let's suppose I am in the Ireland region. So how I can use this service? Okay. So like uh, um, how, how I can use this service? So I can just like uh, go to the, okay, before going to the get started. So here, here you can see the some diagram. So a diagram says this, so this, this is your on the, like the, where you see these wheels. So on this wheel, you can see this is the AWS resources. So AWS config after that. So in within the AWS config, you have decided some rules. So the rules like, so the whenever any bucket should be created in the Ireland region, it should not be public. Whenever any security group should be created, it should not be like uh, the SSH opened from anywhere. So you created some rule, right? 
so now this rule like whenever as soon as you created this rule like uh, this service will going to evaluate all the resources from uh, like within the particular region where the where you set up this rule and then whenever it like it it read the like configuration it will it can send to your amazon s3 bucket it can like generate an sns notification it's up to us whether we want to generate an sns notification or not so we can like basically do this if there is an as, as soon as we could see like non compliant resource there is an email going to trigger and say that there is a non compliant resource someone has created this resource so, so can we take an action so on the immediate basis company can take an action right so this is a very useful service but this is a paid service so if you so want to do the practice so make sure like uh, uh, like keep in mind like uh, whatever the credit card link to debit card link like uh, the charges will get detected okay so let's click on the get started so there are some settings which we have to do resources types to record like which resources is like you want to record all this uh, record specific resources type uh, like uh, what are the resources type like asm certificate ec2 what all resources you want to like generally what we say like we can record all the res resources within the like uh, particular region whether you want to record the global resources as well global means like because im is the global im is not a region specific so whether you want to record the global resources or not so let's suppose i don't want to record the global resources so when it like uh, uh, so this service is going to read all the configuration from the all the resources so to read from the all the resources it some rule or some policies needs to be attached so by default it will create a like a uh, some like some rule or role uh, and it will attach the policies if you have if you uh, you created your own roles you can like attach otherwise it will create it for you okay then delivery method so whether you want to like store the logs within the s3 bucket or not whether you want to create an sns topic or not like do you want to generate some notification or not so i don't want to generate a notification so this is a bucket name so where my logs is going to store All right so just click on the next now here aws manage rules so what rules i want to set for my company so let's suppose i selected the ssh rule so i selected this restricted ssh so check whether security groups are in use this allow unrestricted incoming ssh traffic so let's suppose if someone created the ssh group so whether like uh, so let's do one thing before creating this uh, like service let's create the ssh like let's create the security group so let's suppose if i created the some security group uh where is the security group here is the security group so one one security group is already there which is the default so let's let's for i have created one security group and give the uh, my security group allow ssh from anywhere and https from anywhere generally we don't allow but let's suppose i go against the, my company policies and i like uh, create this. so i don't want to create the outbound i want to create the inbound rule so under the let me delete this under the inbound rule i created the ssh and uh, i allow it from anywhere generally we don't allow it from anywhere and i create the https or http and i allow also from the anywhere so which is totally against my company policies so i created the security group so my security group has been created so now i will see once i create my service whether it will it will like uh, where i created so i created in the ireland region only so and this config is also i am going to create in the ireland region so we will see because we are setting this rule that is a restricted ssh but this is not a restricted ssh it is open open to all like all like so this is not restricted so this is against my company policies so let's see whether my like this service config is going to report this security group or not so i created like we can select ssh uh, there are so many like if you go to the uh, let's suppose if i select s3 and uh, s3 replication s3 bucket login so bucket login should be enabled 
read should be prohibited write should be prohibited the replication should be enabled so anything like whatever you want to set you can set based upon your company policies or whatever company want to set they can set so for the time being we set restricted ssh so next and there is only one rule and confirm so and conflicting conditional operation is currently in progress against the resource please try again so what is this conflicting conditional operation is currently in progress against this resource please try again amazon s3 amazon s3 okay error code status code 409 operation aborted uh, it looks like some issue with the s3 uh, why it is not able to create the s3 because i think s3 is the like uh, uh global service but there are no bucket exist so why it is like uh, not going to gen generate that okay let me go to the previous let me go to the previous and uh, let me change my bucket name so config bucket one so probably like uh, i have already created like uh use this so maybe because of that uh, it is uh, creating some issues so i have changed the bucket name so let's try so now let's click on the confirm so let's see now it's creating the s3 bucket and uh, signing up with the aws configs s3 bucket created successfully so yeah so now it's my configuration is like uh, going to create and it's created successfully if i click on the view dashboard so now the dashboard is open so right now like uh, it is saying like uh, zero compliant zero compliant zero compliant but i have the one non compliant resources so it will take some time this service is going to scan all my resources within the ireland region and then will check against my rule like whether like where is my rule where my rule go okay here is the rules so it will going to check whether like uh, any 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 resources is against this rule or not so if i go to the dashboard so see i see here rule one one non compliant uh, like uh, rules one non compliant resource so if i click on the resource like which which resource is non compliant which is uh, like who who created this like uh, and which resource is which is against my company policies so this is the ec2 security group which is against my company policies so if i click on it and which rule it against so it it is again the restricted ssh rule right and if i click on the resource timeline so it is taking some time so my rule is open one minute it is still taking some time anyhow so if i go to the dashboard so one one is the non compliant resource if i click on it yeah it is taking some time if i click on it and if i go to the view details so this is like a not set and this is non compliant and a resource type line why it is taking uh, time yeah so we can see like uh, see the like it read at like uh, at this time and whatever like uh, it is going to check so now if i add it my like uh, so now now resource as also on the like this side you will see like some bucket is created if i click on the bucket so one bucket should be created and within the bucket there is aws log and the particular folder under the particular folder like logs will going to generate okay so now someone created the resource against the policy and my this config service has detected that resources so let's correct that resources so if i go to the my security group and if i click on the edit inbound rule so the rule is only for the ssh so let's delete the ssh 
and if i save the rules and now i my resource is compliant right so so right now we are able to see one non compliant resources so we should not able to see this one non compliant resource here should be zero non compliant resources so it will rescan and then like uh, it will going to like uh, check so if i click on it rules if i click on the rules and click on the actions and reevaluate so let's reevaluate or otherwise you can manually reevaluate or otherwise it will automatically going to reevaluate it will take some time because my resource is not the non compliant but it is showing non compliant so it will take some time let me refresh it it will take some time so let me pause the video so now you could see zero non compliant uh, like uh, uh, like resources and like for the rules like it will also show zero like uh, uh, and two compliant resources so everything is like uh, compliant compliant means uh, whatever the rules which the company has set everything is like compliant so i have the two security groups one is a default one is the one which we have created so now it is compliant earlier it was it was like a non compliant so if you play with this and uh, i could not see any option to delete so because if i created this config now i did my hands on now if i if i want to delete i could not see any option like from where i can delete this because i think this is just a kind of settings so what we can do is we can go to the settings we can edit it and we can like uh, uh disable the recording so we can like uh, disable the recording so now it is not going to like uh, record uh, all the changes so if it is not going to record uh, i believe it it will not like a uh, uh, charge from us so we can delete the bucket click on it empty the bucket exit it and uh, now delete the bucket okay if you go to the iam and uh, within the iam if you go to the roles and here if you select config so it's okay let me refresh it so this is the like the one uh, config uh, role like uh, which uh, uh, like it created uh, for us so if you go to the policy so this is the policy it will like uh, going to uh, do this action get analyzer get analyzer on all the services on ec2 backup cloud trail config is it to security group is it to description so all these like access like uh, by default it will it will create this policy it will it will attach this policy to the particular role, role but we have the option if we want only few resources if you want to scan we can create that so that's the end of the video so this is a very great service if we want to use we can use so that's it uh, thank you